Welcome to Thank God It's a Story Saturday, a weekly video series where I share stories with you that you can use to make your messages connect. Indra Nui's book, My Life in Full, comes out in just a few days on the 28th of September to be very specific. I have never been so excited about a book launch. Why? Because it is her stories over the years that I went looking for all the time every time I've had a challenge navigating my personal and professional life as an Indian working woman. They were my user manual, they were my guide. Today I want to share one story that has influenced me immensely. This story she told in the year 2015 I think at 92Y conference in a women in leadership panel. So the story goes back to when she was only about eight years old and is about an unusual ritual that her mother had. So Indra Nui is brought up in a socially conservative family in the city of Madras, now called Chennai. And her mother held some very traditional beliefs, but she was also someone who wanted her daughters to believe that they could be anything they wanted. So she had this ritual when the girls would come for dinner, she would tell them that today you have to talk about what would you do if you were the president, prime minister or chief minister. Um, and the girls were given different world leader identities on different days. When the dinner would finish, the girls would debate and whosoever won the debate got the mother's vote. At the end, they would sign this paper saying, I am that world leader. Although it seemed fun at that time, it led to building immense amount of confidence in Indra Nui. She also talks about her grandfather, a charismatic judge, who when would give her something to do and she was not able to do it the way he would like her to do it, um, used to make her write 200 times on a piece of paper, I will not make any more excuses. Now that work ethic also played a huge role in her really thriving in her career. She did her MBA from the Yale School of Management and when she joined the corporate sector, these things that were built into her by her family, confidence and work ethic started to play a huge role. She gives an example that, you know, when she's in a meeting and men wouldn't look into her eyes and check with other male colleagues about her work, she was not wilting under pressure. She was able to confront and actually ask them why the behavior. And she said that in her heart, she was telling herself that I can do this better than anyone else can. And even if she failed, these guys are going to turn around and ask her to fix it, which she can do. She says, you know, I could be anything I wanted. I could be the prime minister of India. So what is the point I'm trying to make? The point I'm trying to make is that in all these years, I've heard a lot of her parenting stories that have influenced her. I've heard very few college and school stories that have influenced her. So when our kids start to grow up, we talk a lot about, you know, which school, which college. But I think the parenting influence, the institution of parenting and family has a bigger impact and a bigger identity formation role uh, than the school and the college. Stay storied. I'll see you here next Saturday with another story.